Hello friends, welcome to Best Tutor. This is Rama Vishwanathan. In today's video, we are going to learn the very important property of tangents of a circle, that is alternate segment theorem. This is a theorem where we need to prove that the angle made by the tangent and the chord. This is the circle with the tangent at the point of contact. This is the point of contact. From this point of contact, I can draw infinite chords to this circle. Right? We can draw infinite chords to this circle from this point. Whatever is the chord, I have chosen one chord. Right? This chord divides the circle into two segments. This is a minor segment, major segment or this is a segment, I will consider this angle. If I consider this segment, this is the angle which is going to be under consideration, the angle between the chord and the tangent. Now, this chord is going to make another angle in the alternate segment. These two are going to be segments which are alternate to each other. The statement of the theorem is the angle between the chord and the tangent is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. This is the statement of the theorem and the proof is going to be very simple. Let us understand the statement of the theorem first of all. A circle, a tangent and a chord through the point of contact. The angle between the chord and the tangent I have uh, found out. Now what are we supposed to prove? We need to prove that angle made by or angle between the chord and the tangent, angle between the chord and the tangent is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. This is to be proved. Okay, This is to be proved. Now, I will do a small construction so as to complete the proof. What is the construction I am going to do here? I am going to consider the center of the circle. I will draw a diameter of the circle. How many diameters can I draw to a circle? infinite, isn't it? I am going to consider one particular diameter which passes through this point of contact P. Right. So, I am going to consider one particular diameter which passes through the point P and let me name it as C. So, P C is the diameter which passes through the point of contact. We need to prove that angle B P T. What is required to prove? Required to prove is angle B P T is equal to angle P A B. This is to be proved. Observe how are you going to prove it. I have drawn a diameter. Now, let me join B and C. We are going to use the theorems or axioms which we have learnt earlier. This is a diameter. A diameter divides the circle into two semicircles and we have also known that learned that angle in a semicircle is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, this is a semicircle. P C is the diameter hence angle P, P B C is going to be 90 degrees. That is clear. Now, angle P C P B C is equal to 90 degrees. Reason is angle in a semicircle. This proof is going to be hardly 2 to 3 steps. That is it. Angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Done. Now, OP is the radius, PT is the tangent. We have already learned in the earlier videos that radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So, OP is perpendicular to PT. Angle OPT is equal to 90 degrees. Reason is radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay. Now, angle BPT is equal to X implies angle B P C is equal to 90 minus x, is not it? This complete angle is 90 degrees, a part of it is going to be x, hence this part is going to be 90 minus x, is not it? Let, let us draw it separately, this is C 
P T which is going to be 90 degrees. In between we have a line which is P B and angle B P T is going to be X. This complete angle is 90 degrees. Hence, this part is going to be 90 minus X. Done. It is clear. Now, consider triangle P B C. Consider triangle P B C. It is a right angled triangle. Okay. Angle P B C plus angle B C P plus angle C B P. Angle P B C, angle B C P, angle C P B. Right. We need to be very careful while naming the angles is equal to 180 degrees. What could be the reason here? Angle sum property. Sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Angle sum property of a triangle. Now, what is angle P B C? 90 degrees. Angle B C P we do not know. We need to find out that. Let us find it out. Angle C P B is 90 minus x is equal to 180 degrees. That implies angle B C P plus 180 minus x is equal to 180 degrees or angle B C P is equal to x degrees. 180, 180 gets cancelled. If I take this minus x to the other side, it becomes x. Hence, we have proved that this angle is equal to x. Right? We start, we assume that this angle is going to be x. We made use of two simple properties and I proved that this angle is equal to x. Now, observe carefully that P B is a chord. So, P B divides the circle into two segments. This is a segment. These two are the angles subtended by the same arc in the same segment. Those are going to be angles in the same segment, right? And we know that angles in the same segment are equal. We have learned in angle properties. Done. We are done with the proof. But this is a very important concept. But angle P A B is equal to angle P C B. Reason? Angles in the same segment. Those are going to be angles in the same segment. Implies angle P A B is equal to X. Hence, we have proved that angle B P T is equal to angle P A B. That is what we have proved, is not it? Let us go through the proof first of all. We are given a statement where we need to prove that the angle between the chord and the tangent is going to be equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment that was to be proved. Then we have done a basic construction. We have drawn a diameter through the point of contact. A diameter divides the circle into two equal parts or two semicircles, and we clearly know that angle in a semicircle is a 90 right angle. So, this angle is going to be right angle because angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees done. That was the first thing. Then radius is perpendicular to the tangent. That is a tangent property. Hence, angle OPT or CPT, both mean the same, is going to be 90 degrees done. This part I have assumed to be x and this complete angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, this part that is CPB is going to be 90 minus x. Clear. Now, in this triangle PBC, one angle is 90 minus x one angle is 90 degrees. So, by using angle sum property, we found out that this angle is going to be x. Right. Now, moving on, this is a segment. Angles in the same segment are equal. So, using that simple property, we have proved that P A B is equal to P C B is equal to x. So, we started with this angle to be x and we proved that this angle is x. Alternate segment theorem. Angle between a chord and a tangent is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment done right this is nothing but an alternate segment theorem so there are many applications of this alternate segment theorem we can prove one theorem using this theorem what is that theorem let us quickly go through that in the earlier videos we have learnt about chord properties of circle when two chords are intersecting internally or externally then the products of the segments of the chords are equal you can refer to those videos for the proof, detailed proof also. 
Now, we are going to prove a theorem which is similar to this, but we are going to make use of one chord and a tangent. In the earlier statement, we had to use two chords which are intersecting internally or externally. Now, here I am going to consider a circle, a tangent and a chord. Chord and tangent are not intersecting, right? Chord is a line segment which touch which joins any two points on the circle. Tangent is a line which touches the circle exactly at one point. So, these two are two non intersecting inside the circle, but if I extend right they are intersecting at a point. T P is a point of contact, T P T is a tangent, A B is a chord. Now, what is the statement theorem state? It states that the product of the segments of the chords is equal to the square of the tangent. When two, when a chord and a tangent intersect externally, then the product of the segments of the chord is equal to the square of the tangent. That means, I need to prove that segments of the chord T A and T B are two segments. T A into T B is equal to P T square. This is to be proved. Okay. Now, how are we going to prove it? Let us understand. Let us write down the statement of the theorem. When a chord and a tangent intersect each other, we do not have to mention internally or externally because they will not intersect internally. If at all they have to intersect, then we, we cannot say it is a tangent, it should be a secant, right. When a chord and a tangent intersect each other, then the product of the segments of the chord, product of the segments, segments means parts of the chord, of the chord is equal to the square of the tangent, square of the tangent. This is a statement of the theorem. How are we going to prove it? Let us consider the figure, a circle with center O, a tangent, right? P T is the tangent, a chord A B if they are not intersecting, but if we extend it, they will definitely intersect at a point. So, let me name that point as P, where they are going to be intersecting each other. What is to be proved? Required to prove P A into P B is equal to P T square. How are we going to prove it? We have understood the th statement of the theorem and the theorem exactly. Now, we are going to prove it. How are we going to prove? Let us join we do not have to make use of the center of the circle. We will join A to T and then B to T, right. Then we are going to make use of some theorem. Just now I have explained one alternate segment theorem. According to alternate segment theorem, the angle between the chord and the tangent is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. So, these two angles are equal. Let us consider. triangle P B T and triangle P T A, P B T P T A. In these two triangles, which are the angles which are equal? Angle P T B is equal to angle P A T. Alternate segment theorem, angle T P B is equal to angle A P T, common angle. Hence, this is a common angle, right? This is the angle which is common to both the triangles. So, which triangles have we considered? P T B and P A T. Huh? <coughs> P T P T B is similar to triangle P A T by A A axiom. When two triangles are similar, 
then the sides are proportional corresponding sides are proportional these two triangles are similar so let us understand what are the sides which are corresponding to each other pt by pa pt pa is equal to tb by at is equal to pb by pt Now, in these three ratios, whichever two ratios are going to be useful to us, we are going to consider those. I need to prove P A into P B is equal to P T square. So, I have to make use of the ratios which will have P A, P B and P T in them. So, this is one ratio. I am not going to use this ratio because it does not consist of either P A or P B or P T. So, I am not going to make use of these. I will make use of the first and the last ratio. That means, P T by P A is equal to P B by P T by cross multiplying we get P T square is equal to P A into P B this is a proof we have proved it using alternate segment theorem a simple theorem right. So, we have proved both alternate segment theorem and a theorem based on uh, intersecting chord and tangent. These are the two videos we have learned two, two theorems we have learnt in this video in the coming videos we are going to learn some other concepts of mathematics. Let us meet in the next video. Thank you.